Hey, what's going on everybody? Tanvir here. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Figma, Figma tools and properties and a few more things. So, let's jump into Figma. So, here we go. When you will open the Figma application on your laptop or PC, you will see this kind of interface here. Or also, you can open Figma in your browser, but now we will work on the desktop application. Here you can see the option here, a new design file, new figjam file and import a file. So for now, we will create a new design file. Click on it. And here you can see the design file. Here at the top, you will find the toolbar. And on the left side, you will see the layers, search and asset panel here and the page number and at the right side you can see the design prototype and inspect option to create a design we have to select the frame tool here this one let's select that and just click on it here and it will create a frame let's adjust the width and height and here you can see the properties tool here here you will see a few options frame layer, fill, stroke, effects, and export. So for now, let's customize the width and height. And now here, I will create a web page design hero section. And by creating the design, you will have a basic idea about the tools and properties and effects section here. So let's begin. First of all, select the rectangle tool here and create a background. And change the fill color and here you will see the fill tab change the fill color double click on it fill it with a black color here at the left side over on this rectangle tab here and see the lock icon here lock the and here also you will see the eye icon you can hide and show the rectangle by clicking on it and at the top here you can see a few tools here first of all that's the move tool and second is the frame tool and this is the shape tool you can create rectangle line arrow ellipse polygon star or place image here and next is pen and pencil tool next is type tool and this is the resources you can see the components and plugins that you, you have installed in your figma app and here you can see a few widgets and next is hand tool you can move your frame or artboard by using this tool and here you can see the comment tool you can add comment to when you are going to show your design to your client or showcase it anywhere it is very helpful when you are sharing something with your team and getting feedback from others now we are going to create the navigation bar here Let's select the type tool and adjust the font size to 35 and the font weight and make the font weight bold and let's type logo here 40 pixel or 48 is fine yeah now go to this resources tool here and select plugins and here I have installed a plugin for icon that's iconify you can also install it you'll find it the plugin library let's search icon this one I'm going to use it here and next time I will also publish a video about figma plugins here in that video you'll know everything about the plugins so in this video just see the basic uses of the figma plugin so this is our logo and now let's create the nav bar we have already created the navigation bar here so let's adjust it adjust the position yeah now it's fine let's go to the shape tool and we'll click create a ellipse from here 
now we will customize its color here go to this fill tab here and select on this color option and here at the top you will see a option that now solid is selected now we will use gradient select the liner and select a color we will use this color yeah that's fine so here you can see we have already created a gradient background on this ellipse shape now we'll put a effect on the ellipse to create effect simply click on this plus icon and then select the layer blur option and then click on this sun icon here to see the effect setting and put here triple five yeah it's a lot we'll use 445 yeah that's fine now select the ellipse tool from here and let's increase its size and now again select this type tool here and adjust the font size we will use 128 or 120 yeah 120 is fine now select the type tool and type here start crypto trading and here you can see at the top the alignment tool you can align any object or element by using this tool let's change the font from here we're going to use the contracts bold front let's adjust the font height to 100 now let's place a background curve here to do that simply click on this menu icon and select file and here select the place image or you can use the shortcut control plus shift plus k or if you are using mac then command plus shift plus k just click on it we're going to use a curve line from here select the curve line and increase its size so that it fits with uh, the background yeah now it looks fine now select this curve line and drop it down here and we're going to use a effect here select go to this layer option and here you'll see the world option and also let's group it it's the background and lock it now we can see it looks fantastic you can see the ellipse is under the curve line if we move up the ellipse and it will see like this i think it's fine on this way now let's create the call to action button here contracts bold and we'll use the font height of 30 pixel and again select the rectangle tool here and create a rectangle shape and put it side in 80 and with this 400 and also add some border radius here 50 pixel yeah that's fine and change the fill color of it now select the align adjustment here increase the call to action button here yeah we have created the call to action button select this rectangle here we are going to put some effect on this let's use the drop shadow here select the drop shadow and click on the sun icon here we'll set the blur to 44 percent and speed to 30 percent if we zoom in here and increase the number of it here you can see the change let's use the 40 yeah it's fine so now let's create a custom element select this paint tool here and create a triangle shape like this select down here and select the stroke color to white and 
adjust the stroke size to 2 pixel or 3 pixel yeah 3 pixel is fine and also copy the vector from here rotate this element here and also change its fill color stroke color again to green light green yeah it looks fine and now we'll use the pencil tool we'll create a slider to do that press shift from your keyboard and drop the pencil like this we will use it as a slider let's duplicate the line one more and now set the alignment to middle and boom we have already created the hero section of a website it's just an example and finally what we have learned by creating this design we learned how to use all the major tools and properties like fill a shape with a color or gradient and how to apply effects like layer blur or drop shadow effect and also we know how to lock a layer show or hide a layer and finally now we'll know how we can export this design as an image to do that select this frame one here and at the right side go to bottom and you will see the export option click on this plus icon and here you will see the export option first here you will see the export ratio let's select x and you will see the export format png jpeg svg and pdf let's select the jpeg option and now click on this button here and then choose the destination and click save so here we go this is the design we just created it looks awesome and let me inform you one more thing that you can be an expert in one day we have to practice how to design in figma and next time i will publish a lot of videos how to create website designs app designs and will tell you more about a few advanced functionalities on figma and that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video then press the like button and subscribe to my channel i'll get back to you soon with a new video again meanwhile you guys stay focused and keep learning